long time. But our vacation time is finally here. Yes, <laughs> Mama. And I think Maine is the ideal place. If you leave in about two weeks, it'll be the perfect time of the year. Honey, Maine is all right with me. Swimming yeah. and camping mm -hmm. and square dancing. Yeah. Oh, so when your partner do the right. <laughs> on the count of me, Mama, the poker is one of my favorite dances. Oh, George, Mama and I have just been talking about our vacation. Vacation? Yes. You know, about nine months ago, we gave you that $400. Well, we're ready to take our vacation with it, and we decided on Maine. George, the $400 is still in the bank. It is? <laughs> so much to Mama and me. <laughs> yes, George, we're making arrangements to leave for Maine in two weeks. Sapphire, let's go in and check over our clothes. All right, Mama. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, Sapphire. I can just smell them big Maine pies to you. <laughs> well, I'm glad they can smell them. <laughs> but they sure ain't gonna see them. Kingfish, I don't know how you could have ever spent that money if Sapphire told you it was for the vacation. Well, he was like fitted away a little here and a little there. And I think it was last May when I cleaned out the bank account with my last fritter. In other words, Kingfish, you got to raise $400 in the next two weeks. That right, Amos. Uh, you got anything at all you can sell? Well, Amos, I just think in here, I hate to get rid of it. But the only thing I got worth that kind of money is my car. Oh, your car, huh? Yeah, but that's something that they wouldn't miss on the vacation. And then maybe later, I could buy the thing back. Well, Papa and her mama been counting on this thing for nearly a year now. And I just wouldn't disappoint them if I possibly could help it. I'd sell the car if I was you, King Dish. Well, I guess that's the thing to do all right, Amos. I'll sell the car. Well, this will take care of it, Mrs. Stevens. Thank you. Well, I brought the money, honey. George, this is Mr. Johnson. He's up here in connection with our vacation. Hi, how do you do? Well, there's the whole $400. Oh, well, you brought it just in time. Here you are, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll enjoy your vacation. Oh, thank you. Well, good day. Good day. Good day, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Johnson is the one up here from the traveling agency that brought the ticket, huh? No. St. George, Mom and I have been discussing the trip, and we've discovered a way to make the $400 go ever so much farther. Is that right? We can see twice as much of the country and stay away twice as long. Come here, George, I want you to see something. Look out the window. See this beautiful new trailer we saw? <laughs> you selling your car and Sapphire getting the trailer. This thing won't pull it, huh? Well, let me look at it. Let me just stand here just a minute. Oh, it, you know, I used to ride one of these things once upon a time myself. Let me look at it here. Let's see here. Maybe you could get more power if you increase your combustion and cut out on your compression here. I'll fix it for you. Yeah, yeah, that's me, good. And see here? Is 
send it back. <laughs> what is I gonna do? Well, there's one angle you might look at, Kingfish. You know, uh, you can rent a car for four cents a mile. Mm, oh, sure, sure. With the cash I got, I couldn't get more than ten miles. But see, I wonder, could I borrow some money from Andy? Mm, no, Kingfish, I don't think that's gonna happen. I was talking to Andy, and after he found out you was going on a vacation, he got the bug, too. See, he might spend four or five hundred dollars. You see, he might go as far as Yellowstone Park. Hmm. Yeah, I got a trailer. Handy got four hundred dollars and a minus IQ. Seem like there ought to be some connection <laughs> someplace there, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of playground you like to romp around in, all right. <laughs> yeah, but I think Andy's wasting his money going on a vacation. That boy don't know the difference between Yellowstone Park and Central Park. <laughs> Kevin, huh? I think you done thrown me an angle. Oh, man, yeah. I always on my toes. What I throw you? Well, now, Kevin, suppose I rented a car for four cents a mile, yeah. and I stole Andy on the trip around the country in my trailer yeah. and never even take the boy out of Central Park. Central Park? Mm-hmm. Now, you see, I'd have the in a different part of the park every morning. Yeah. Uh, where you can't see no building and the boulders and the tree is so thick yeah. you'll think you're out in the country showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning to get on now. And I'd have Andy sleep during the night while I make believe I'm driving. Yeah. And every morning he'd think he was in a different part of the country. Yeah. But Calhoun, uh -huh. I'm going to need your help for this. Oh, Kingfish, I'd be glad to help you. <laughs> during the whole country without even leaving Central Park. <laughs> now that is something. And the best part of it is, it ain't gonna cost you but a few dollars. <laughs> yeah, and as soon as I get all the money from the boy, then I'll buy my car back and take Mama and Sapphire on their trip. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you're gonna have to do, Kingfish, because I guarantee you ain't gonna get no place in this thing yet. <laughs> Yeah, it is gonna be some trip all right, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I say, uh, the world is your oyster. All you gotta do is stick your fork in it. Yeah, well, the thing is beginning to sound interesting to me, Kingfish. Yeah, and believe me, Andy, a trailer is the only way to travel. <clears throat> oh, it is, huh? Yeah, and I guess you recall the words of that immortal poet, Ralph Walnut Emerson. Uh, what did Walnut say? <laughs> well, he say, and I quote Burr Bacon, let not yon city be thy jailer. See America in a trailer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Believe me, Andy, that boy know what he's talking about. Yeah, well, Kingfish, that sounds good. Will we have time to stop at different places and everything so I can get in some fishing and all that kind of stuff? Why, certainly, Andy. Come here. Now, take North Dakota there. Now, that whole state is a fisherman parasite. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Kingfish is one of them great big stuffed fishes on a boat, so I can hang it on my wall when I come home. Oh, Andy, you can spare them. Oh. Yeah, and the nice part about it, if you miss the fish, you hit the boat. Yeah. Yeah, and you're bound to bring in something every time. But now, like I say, Andy, this trip's gonna cost you up around four hundred dollars, and even at that, I ain't making a dime on it. Oh, you thinking on breaking even, huh? Yeah, and you see, I got to rent the car, and the Miley's gonna practically eat up all the money. Yeah, well, Kingfish, it's a deal. Good, Andy, good. <laughs> well, George, I still think it's kind of silly. You're going on a trip with Andy when we'll all be going ourselves in a couple of weeks. Well, honey, this is a kind of a break-in trip, you know, so we get the feel of the trailer and the feel of the road. Whatever I learned on this trip will make our trip that much nicer. Well, you have got a point there. And you don't know when you'll be back? No, honey, but don't worry about me. Go long, honey. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Goodbye, George. Uh, King Fish, I got all my gear stowed away. Well, that's good, Andy. Now you get on in the trailer and hit the hay. And I'll start driving, and by tomorrow morning, we'll be somewhere way off in the wide open spaces. Oh, boy. 
America, here we come. <laughs> Lend me the loan of a match. Oh, why certainly. There he is, Sonny Boy. Thanks. Say, you guys are certainly up oily this morning. Henny, did you hear that Kentucky twang? Anyone that down talk that away, you know you're deep in Kentucky. Yeah. Well, Kingfish, I think I'll go inside and get my walking stick and take a nice long hike for mm. breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, I want to get a good gander of this countryside around here. Yeah, Andy, that's a good idea, Andy. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah sir, but... Oh, uh, what's the matter, King? Sit down there, son. Andy, flex your eyes a minute. Again. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, Andy, this is terrible. Only been two hours in the state of Kentucky, and you done got it already. Got what? The bluegrass fever. Why <laughs> <laughs> it is all blue shot? The bluegrass fever. Did you show about that kingfish? You may be here. Wow, Andy, your head is hotter than a ninety-six cent toaster. <laughs> oh, you got it, son. Well, uh, is it serious? Well, no, Andy, it ain't too serious. It's kind of like the measles, but you got to protect your eyes so no light can get in them. Oh, man, I wanted to go on a hike. Yeah, Andy, I wanted to go on a hike, too, but it's just that we got to protect your eyes. And, Andy, instead of you seeing this glorious state of Kentucky, you're only going to be able to hear and smell it. Well, if that's got how it's got to be, it's all right with me. Say, are we still going on the hike? Oh, yes, Andy, now just keep your ears and your nose open. Okay. Beautiful country, uh, this Kentucky. Yeah, this is something to smell, all right. Oh, yeah. And, Andy, way yonder in the distance is an unforgettable sight. It is, huh? Well, tell me about it, then. As far as the eye can see, I wave and feel the harmony grit. Boy, I'm so glad we come to this place. All right, Andy, look out now here. Bend over there, son. He's going on that tree. Don't let it hit that branch. Yeah. Yeah, keep right down there, funny boy. Did we buy it, Chet? Oh, no, this is a big branch. Hey, Kingfish. Hmm. Is the hair in Kentucky awfully thin? Oh, what makes you ask me that, Andy? Because I was getting awfully dizzy. Look, <laughs> Kingfish. Is the country as beautiful as it was when we first started? Oh, it's more beautiful, Andy. Matter of fact, we're coming to a beautiful little babbling brook. Oh, boy. Oh, Andy, you wait right here until I take a gander. Yeah. Get that babbling, Andy? Yeah, this is really some country, all right. 
Come on, Andy. Let's get back to camp and rest. Yeah, because I'm getting awful tired. Yeah, we got to step over this brook here now, Andy. Now, Andy, step high and put your foot on this rock. That up, boy. That's it, Andy. That's it. Now put the other foot over there. That's it. Now the other one right down there. Now, Andy, uh, get your balance now, son, and take a big hop. <laughs> you made it. I didn't. Oh. Come on, Andy. Andy, don't be straining your eyes trying to find them things. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, how is your eyes? Oh, they feel fine, King Baker. I think I'm over with the bluegrass fever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the only thing is, I felt pretty good when I was struck down with the thing. Well, Andy, that's one of the symptoms of the fever. You feel just as good when you got it as when you ain't. Yeah. But, Andy, I think it'd be a good idea for you to go on in and hit the hay. Because tomorrow, we are hidden into mountain country. Uh, you mean why we does the fishing? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got to get ready for that. Good night, King Fish. Well, good night, son. Yeah. Hmm. Now, to get to the other side of the park. <laughs> that people are counting, and they'll be up in a minute. And then you get in the bushes, and you know what to do. All right, King Fish. this morning and went over to a little creek and done some fishing. Had pretty good luck, too. You did? Yeah, come on, Andy, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, Andy, I run into a nice school of fish. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like you got some of the faculty in there, too. <laughs> oh, boy. I can hardly wait. Show me the way to that creek. Well, I'll get my gear, Andy, and be right with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Kingfish, the trees and stuff in North Dakota are a lot like they are in Kentucky, ain't they? Oh, sure, Andy. Well, you see, both of the states is in the path of the Gulf Stream. So, naturally, they got the same floor. <laughs> well, come on, let's get going, Andy. We got a lot of wild country to go through. Yeah. Oh! Hey, what was that? A mountain lion, Andy. I didn't know this part of the country was so wild. A mountain lion? Is that me? Oh! Hmm, sounds like you ain't had his breakfast yet. English, I don't think we ought to go out there. Maybe we ought to stay close to camp today. Well, Andy, that's a thought. Take a peek, uh, all these things here. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep it up, Calhoun. Our uh, damn full ground was great. Kingfish. 
I ain't growled but three times. <laughs> well, the only thing I can figure out is that mating growl that I give must be stronger than I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and I ain't waiting around to find out. Baby. Well, I'm and taking no chances. So we'll stay inside the trailer here all day, and when it gets dark, and the animals quiet down, then we'll pull out for Wyoming. Mm -hmm. What a vacation. First is the bluegrass fever. Now it's mountain lion. I wonder if anything's going to happen tomorrow. You never can tell, Andy. You never can tell. <laughs> But there ain't nothing happened since cut to come through here. Now it's starting all over again. <laughs> But even at that, there ain't no point in you taking no chances on roaming around here. Although we eat a little short of food. A weird, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to see can I find a neighboring ranch house and see can I get uh, some fresh ranch eggs and some fresh ranch that's for me. Yeah, well, I'll stay hold up till you get back, King. Yeah, stay right there, sonny boy. Cut to the dressmaker than that path that winds all around. Stop up! Look! That looks like our trailer. Hmm. <laughs> this is our trailer, Mama. I remember the license. I can't figure this out. Oh, for goodness sake, what is this? Yeah, the country's full of them. What are y'all doing way out here in Wyoming? Wyoming? Yesterday we were in South Dakota, the day before we were in Kentucky. Is you two been following us? Huh. Where is George? Oh, uh, he went over to some ranch house to get some ranch castrama or something. Andy, tell me what's going on. Well, two nights ago we left New York, and the first night we stopped in Kentucky. And the uh, next night we was in North Dakota. Then we come on up here to Wyoming. I just can't understand it. This is the dirtiest trick the kingfish done ever played on me. Well, you'll get your money back in. Every cent of it. Now, you go on. I'll take care of George. Well, it's all right with me, because I don't like Wyoming anyway. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. 